Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you young ones on the case. Let's old daddy go get some well-deserved R&R. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Uh, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. So this was the thing that led you to the car. Yes, sir. The mirror you knocked off was just the clue we needed. Good work, Apollo. Of course, you might say, I was the one who made solving that case possible. <laughs> Do I get points for knocking off a car mirror? <laughs> I guess my phone was even at the end, friend. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing. He found my panties so quick. Almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. <laughs> Do you find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Maractus Clinic, anyway? <coughs> All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money in a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime, the Kentucky family. Um, you mean the Kentucky family? He must have done that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take in, take to a public hospital, see? They use the Miractus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. It looked like something had happened in that uh, people park. Oh, the body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? Well, it's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. Really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your accident and, um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! That leaves the noodle stand. Uh, feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. <laughs> Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. <sighs> right, back to the office to plan our next move. <coughs> Look, my panties. They came home to Mama. Thanks, Apollo. I was worried about them too. Truthy, special only special order those. A starting display of parental parental concern. I'd hate to have to buy a new pair. Oh. Make that a not so startling display of cheap skatedness. Okay, that's interesting. That's nice. What's that? Looks strangely familiar. I saw that before. Bestimmt brauchen wir jetzt als nächstes die Slipper. Vielleicht sollte ich die gleich noch holen. Was macht die denn da? You, you're the woman from the Kentucky place. Yes. I knew it. Something's the matter and you want her help, right? Well, you've come to the right place. Ah, the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. I have a request. Okay, what's your request? <clears throat> Let me guess, something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says, now defending, so I thought... What? You mean, you mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened? Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand or your panties? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you would call him. What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? No. But first, what's your story? You frequent the Kitagi Mansion, yes? 
Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a... Uh, gangster? Yes, but the Kitakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job. Live the good gangster life. I think you're onto something. Miss Kitaki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Okay, murder in the park. Gokudo. So what happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know her body was found in the park near the Kitaki mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently the victim was shot with a pistol, but I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this. Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? <coughs> your fiancé is the Kitaki family's only son, correct? His name is Waki. Waki Kitaki. I brought a photo. Ah, damn. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son... Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request from Alita Tiala for the legal defense of her fiancé, Waki Kitaki. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. Can you know what's present here? Is this like dein handy? Okay, off the money. Not sure I understand, I'm sorry. No, no, it's me who's sorry, really sorry. Um, Onyx. I hope that's okay. I've never written a letter of request before. Oh, it's fine. I should hope it's your first. If we take this, we'll be able to investigate the scene. Good. Okay, now we'll some detention center again. We'll have some detention center. June 15, detention center. Visitor's room. Polly, you look as happy as a climb in the shell. For your lawyer, this is it. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Um, you need something? Ah, yes, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Walkie Kiseki. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could take a while. Drat. Oh well, guess we have to come back later then. So much for that battle. Yeah, good. Alles klar. Dann gehe ich heute auch erstmal zum Park. June 15, Kitagi Mansion. So this is it, my first murder crime scene. Oh, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? <lacht> Nur schreie und ab und zu flackert das Licht. No. We're not playing, we're investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? Um... Miss Talia must have used the Kitaki stationery. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, wie soll ich den ansprechen? <coughs> Mr. Gavin. Aber wir hatten doch schon mal einen Gavin. Oh, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who is this guy? I must say I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. Mr. Gavin? Ah, eigentlich müsste ich den Deutsch sprechen. Der heißt nämlich mit Vornamen Klavier. Ah, Fräulein. 
Was ist es? Aber das klingt für bei dem, glaube ich, ein bisschen dämlich. Der soll ja eher so cool rüberkommen. What is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Yes, the police man officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Y yes, sir, of course, sir. Uh -huh. Very well. This way, Fräulein. We. Oui. <coughs> uh, what about me? Oh, guck mal da. Ich glaube, wir haben gerade einen Stand gefunden. <lacht> genau. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? Ask the wind, Fräulein. I'll be riding on it. Oh, Mr. Obercool. Who was that? Yeah, Apollo, look, a corpse. What? It's just a mannequin. Wow, sure got me. Oh, ist das wieder die, die Detective Dame? <coughs> Might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. That glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I would recognize, recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out. Wahrscheinlich steht einfach nur ihr Name unten drunter, sie hätte auch einfach das lesen können. So what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Moment. Ich will jetzt erstmal endlich diesen Autospiegel wegtun. You're going to search for this first. I don't think we need to. Oh, please knock yourself out. Don't mind me. I'll be waiting over here. Just so quickly, a searching through trash is an hobby of mine. Ach, jetzt kriegen wir den gar nicht mehr. Hm. Na gut. Und hat mich ein bisschen. <lacht> der wirkt ja schon wie irgendwas, was wir im Gerichtssaal auch brauchen könnten. Vielleicht kommt er später nochmal wieder. the case. Um, Detective Sky, quiet please. It's snack time. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. I never seem to get a lucky break. Break after nine. Ist sie nicht sogar in einem der früheren Teile mal vorgekommen, in irgendeinem so Bonusfall? Ich meine, die ist gar nicht ganz neu. Ich bin mir nicht mehr sicher. <lacht> Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. And then a year, he gave up the defense attorney line. He? Who is he? An ex-defense attorney? Vielleicht Phoenix? Um, Detective Sky, quiet, please. It's snack time. Ich komme mir ein bisschen verarscht vor. 
We're not making much progress here. Again. Sagt man dasselbe? Sagt die bei allem jetzt dasselbe? It's snack time. Okay. Dann reden wir halt erstmal nicht mit dir. <lacht> genau. Also, was haben wir denn hier? Oh, eine Bank. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. But we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. She's not gonna let us check out the crime scene, is she? Crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. I better check out what we came here to find at least. Um, ja gut. Das hier, ne? Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. Apollo, look. Let's stand. It says Aldoon. I have noticed. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Sagt sie dazu vielleicht irgendwas? Ja. Lass mich raten, sonst darf ich nichts untersuchen. Ja. Uh, if you could spare a moment to take a look at this. Can't you see that I am extremely, extremely busy? Eating snacks, yes. Busy eating snacks, I'd say. This is gonna going nowhere fast. Ich habe keinen Vorspulknopf. Oh, ich habe langsam das Gefühl, das bringt alles nichts. Wo ist überhaupt unser Letter of Request hin? Ah, nicht mal die Anwaltsmarke. <lacht> In zehn Jahren fragt sie sich, wo sie nie befördert worden ist. Ja, hm, komisch. Also sie sagt uns nichts und sie lässt uns nichts untersuchen. Das klingt für mich, als hätten wir hier erstmal alles erledigt. Und vielleicht müssen wir jetzt Phoenix berichten oder äh, Eldun berichten, dass wir den Stand gefunden haben. Falls er überhaupt da ist. Oh, Mr. Eldun, hello. Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Oh, what a bummer. <coughs> oh, is he also wieder weg? Oh, you're back. Run into some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine, really. What's this? So there is a problem. No, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me, you idiot! Oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He is doing that on purpose, I know it. Ich wollte ihm von einem Nudelstand berichten, aber okay. So, what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you not? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? He's the was from shooting, you know? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm, didn't think she'd be involved with this. Yeah, natürlich hast du das verstanden. You know her? You could say that. Sky Connection klingt irgendwie wie so eine Internetfirma. So you know her, don't you? 
I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. Ich meine auch, dass sie in diesem einen Fall, war das in dem einen Fall, den ich damals nicht gemacht habe, dass sie da vorkommt? She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh wait, maybe you know that other guy too. That other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince? Mysterious prince. Apollo, tell me about this prince of truces. Ja, ich glaube, den muss ich auch mal spielen. Ich muss mal gucken, ob ich ihn... Ich habe das ja damals... Äh Ach ne, Teil 1 habe ich dann gar nicht mehr mit der neuen Version durchgespielt. Aber da kommen wir ja vielleicht... Vielleicht finde man da wo Safe Files oder so dafür. <lacht> Tell me about this Prince of Truces. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he is Christoph Gavin's younger brother. His brother? We're acquaintances after a fashion. Klavier. Ich glaube, ich habe damals ihn immer irgendwie Klavier ausgesprochen, weil ich es doof fand, jemanden Klavier zu nennen. Zu nennen. Vor allem, weil der Nachname auch eher so Englisch klingt. Deswegen habe ich dann das immer absi also absichtlich als Klavier Gavin gelesen. Aber wie wollen wir ihn nennen? Wollen wir ihn Klavier oder Klavier nennen? Gavin, Rock'n'Roll God Incarnate. Incarnate. Javier, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling he'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, the detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to this detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. Oh no, it's just cocaine. <laughs> just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. Okay. Time to bring cocaine to the detective. <laughs> so this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Wah! You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. Mysterious white powder with alleged ability to improve Detective Sky's mood. Das Spiel geht aber auch direkt darauf äh, zu, das nach was anderem klingen zu lassen. <lacht> Let's go talk to that detective. He's sure to know what that white powder is. Ja, machen wir das mal. Das habe ich überall gesucht, ihr seid verhaftet, genau. Jo, hier. Uh, does this ring any bells? Is that... It couldn't. Where did you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright and Cole Law Offices, yes? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D -d daddy? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, Then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. Also, I'm your mother. White powder memories. Uh-huh. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver for all of a sudden. Jetzt dürfen wir untersuchen. Benches line the river running through the park. Ah, a little urban oasis. I bet children come here to splash around in the water. 
That river is a little deep for splashing and a little dirty. Ach, das ist ein Fluss. Well, they could listen to the water and pretend they were playing. Her beaver sugar the eager for I... maybe. There's gotta be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead and knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my... huh? But look, another pair of... Underwear? Oh, die sind bestimmt von Little Plum. Wow, Apollo, you're a genius at finding panties. Stop saying that. Wait, these aren't... They're not mine. Could these have been stolen too? Distinctive bloomers, to say the least. <coughs> this mannequin is dressed to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What, you think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah. Taking care of business, little plum kitty style. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. And this is Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Aldoon in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar. It's gonna be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. <coughs> hmm. New tarps have been placed on the ground around the sand. Apollo, bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those. Those are preserving the crime scene. Oh, I guess the police put these tarps here after all. Irgendwas. Ich schätze mal nicht. Oh, ach doch, da ist ja ein Messer im Boden. It's a knife. A shiv, to be precise. Oh, Lingo! The defendant, Waki Kitaki, is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Oh, look at this. There's a handprint on this shiv. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. <coughs> right, first choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint. Closely at the handle. See? There's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Oh, uh, yeah. Vielleicht den? Right, let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. With oppressive space, like this, see? Ah, das hat man damals, das war ja damals auf dem DS das Spiel. Da hat man dann mit dem, uh, mit dem Touchpen von dem DS, glaube ich, das Puder verteilt. <coughs> the oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so just dust it on. And blow it off. Und dann musste man das Mikrofon pusten, um das dann äh, wegzupusten. Halt. Blow? It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just use R and... Okay, das haben sie hier dann wohl einfach auf den Knopf gelegt. Wow, amazing. It's like magic. <lacht> Isn't it, though? <lacht> das kommt dann 1, 5... Du hast es auf dem Emulator gespielt. Was hast du denn dann gemacht? Ich hatte ja mal überlegt, ähm, 4 bis 6 über, äh, weil es das auch auf Android gab, über Android zu spielen. Nur, ähm, hätte ich dann wahrscheinlich auch einen Android-Emulator benutzen müssen, weil ich mein Handy ja schlecht an irgendeine Capture-Card anschließen kann. Und da hätte ich dann auch das Problem gehabt, Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Okay. Uh. Oh, was ich, dann mache ich halt einfach mal alles weiß hier. Ist das genug? 
Hmm, good, clear, quite impressive. Next, to match the print, the police office has samples so you can tell whose finger this print belongs to. Hmm, that doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. Uh, den haben wir noch gar nicht kennengelernt. Warum gibt's ein Fingerprint von ihr in der Polizei? Dings. Sieht aus, als wäre das seiner. So, the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science. It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. Look, Sharp, spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. Knife, also known as Shiv, found at the crime scene bearing Walkie's prints. Können wir das nochmal machen? Da war ja noch ein anderer Abdruck. Aber ich schätze, das ist eigentlich jetzt unnötig. <lacht> Sorry, ich bin hier okay. Fingerprint analysis is the very basis of modern forensic science. Doesn't just talking about it leave you breathless with excitement? Oh yes, breathless. Actually, it does sound kind of interesting, not gonna lie. Let me know if you find any evidence that might have a print or two, alright? Uh, just vielleicht? Okay, das wohl nicht. Das auch nicht. Das? Na, wahrscheinlich würde man die dann irgendwie sehen. Schon. case. The report came in last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was the body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Palmerectis. Moment mal. Oh, ja, den haben wir hier noch gar nicht. <lacht> I just received the autopsy report, in fact. I mean, really, what's up with this case? Moment. Victim's name, Palmer Rectus, age 46, male. Estimated time of death, June 14, between 10.50 p.m. and 10.45 p.m. Cause of death, damage to brain resulting from bullet wound. Points of interest, entry point, right temple. It's enough to make me want to run off, pulling mysterious noodles stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story, I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is, uh... Take that! Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of noodles, Ellen's Noodles, Mr. Eldon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Oh, it's having a noodle stand here. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. <laughs> Your story. Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ah, oh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay to people back here. 
favors. Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. Christian. <laughs> oh God. Darauf muss ich mir jetzt erstmal ein neues Bier da aufholen. <lacht> 